Which of these pre-sale projects is a winner? Hello everyone, this is Cole here with the Vancouver Life Real Estate Group powered by eXp Realty. If you want to keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening here in Vancouver, just hit that subscribe button below. Earlier this year, I made a video of the top three pre-sale projects you should look into. And those three projects are actually still great options. In this video, I'm going to do something similar, except I'm going to compare two pre-sale projects to one another. I'm going to show you what I look out for when I'm researching these projects for my clients. The two projects that I will be comparing are Avand or Avand, I don't know how to say it, in Coquitlo and Innova in North Vancouver. Yes, the location of these projects are completely different, but that's really only going to affect the pricing for these two projects. As you can see, Avon's pricing is much better than Innova's, but that's really just the difference between Coquitlam and North Vancouver. The average dollar per square foot for newly constructed condos in Coquitlam is over $1,000 a square foot. So it's nice to see that Avon is just under $1,000 per square foot. This is likely because it is a wood frame building, which are typically cheaper than concrete builds. Wood frame buildings typically have more noise transfer between floors than concrete buildings do, but they also don't get as hot in the summertime. And units at Avon likely won't get hot at all, as all of their units come with AC. The units at Innova do not come with AC. Most of the units at Innova are $1,100 per square foot and over. And again, that's pretty good as newly constructed condos in North Van are selling roughly around $1,200 per square foot and up. The biggest thing that separates these two projects for me are the floor plans. Let's have a look at Avon first. Now, I know a lot of people will say, oh, this is so cookie cutter or it's just a box, but these square layouts are actually a lot better than the alternative. Another thing that I love about these floor plans is when you look at their two and three bedroom units, you'll see that all of the bedrooms are in separate parts of the condo. Privacy is important. To a lot of people, their bedroom is their sanctuary. So whether you're going to rent it out or sell it, these units that have bedroom separation will get you a higher number. Now let's have a look at the floor plans at Innova. You'll see that their one bedrooms are long hallway style layouts. And unfortunately, while they may roughly be the same size, these hallway type layouts feel a lot smaller and there's a lot of wasted space. The two bedroom floor plans aren't as bad as there's a bit of separation with the ensuite, but the three bedroom units is where things get a little weird. All three bedrooms share a wall. I feel really bad for the person in the middle. Avond is an 11 minute walk from the Berkwit of Skytrain stop and Innova is just five minutes from the C bus. So they're both pretty close to public transit. Innova does have a deposit of just 5%, which is very low and nice for investors compared to Avon's 10%. But if I were an investor or location didn't matter to me, I would pretty well pick Avon every time. Which project would you pick? Let me know in the comments below.